Okay. Okay, so last time na discuss natin yung ibang silent provisions or general concepts when it comes sa CBW, okay? As well as yung mga documentary requirements na kailangan. Well, hindi naman natin totally kailangan i-discuss yung documentary requirements kasi it's just a list of requirements para i-comply ng isang uh, operator para payagan siyang mag-establish ng CBW. Okay? Ang pinaka-purpose talaga natin for this discussion is to identify the process of application. Okay? Particular sa Cosmos Bonded Application Procedure. Okay? So, I think we should start. Ayan. So, as you can see sa materials, ayan. First is, syempre, as part of the requirements, okay, the applicant, okay, take note of this, the applicant should file a written request, okay, to the district collector, okay. Take note that written request for establish or to establish a CBW, okay. So, once you file a written request to the district collector, okay? Si district collector shall immediately, actually dapat immediately, okay? Direct the inspection of the warehouse. So, gagawa siya ng mandato para inspectionin yung warehouse. So, bibigyan niya ng, uh, tawag dito, ng authority ang inspection team, particular yung warehouse inspection division na mag-conduct na inspection doon sa i-establish na CBW, okay? Then, the assigned assign inspector, okay, should submit or shall submit inspection report when it comes doon sa ginawa nila activity, okay, for the inspection and uh, ano dito? validations ng yung i-establish na CBW, okay? Si WID okay, shall report within 3 days. Within 3 days but not more than 5 days. Okay? Then, di ba na-discuss na rin natin ito last time? Okay? So, dapat daw after the inspection or once they establish inspection or examination of the area, okay, the premises and the purpose of the establishment, okay, si WID, okay, kailangan uh, makapag-report siya within 3 days, okay? After the working days, dapat, okay? Particular Monday to Friday, dahil government pa rin naman, okay? But not more than 5 days upon receipt of the order. Okay, halimbawa, uh, sabi ni district collector, uh, i-inspect niyo yung bodega ng September 1, okay? So, from that day, magbibilang ka. So, dapat within 3 days, makapag-inspect na si WID or the Warehouse Inspection Division. So, pag hindi nila na-inspect within 3 days, okay, may extended sila na another 2 days. But not more than 5 days dapat yung inspection. Okay? So, after that, uh, after na ma-inspect, magsasubmit na ng report si Warehouse Inspection Division. Okay? Then, i-endorse Okay, okay. makakareceive na ng uh, inspection report si District Collector from the Warehouse Inspection Division. Si District Collector will endorse the application to the Banded Warehouse Committee, okay, which is, which is headed by the Deputy Commissioner of AOCG. Okay? Si WBC, the Banded Warehouse Committee, siya naman yung mag evaluate ng application, particular dun sa mga documents na sinabit. Okay? Not just for the documents, okay? They evaluate also the location, okay? If it is accessible to all means of land transportation ba? Okay? So, isa yun sa criteria bakit kailangan evaluate ng BWC, which is the Banded Warehouse Committee, is to identify the location or the proposed warehouse kung accessible ba sa lahat ng klase ng land transportation, Okay? And also to check if there is a strong structure or 
any prevention to damage or loss para at least yung mga goods doon is safe. Okay? Isa rin yun sa mga ini-evaluate ng Banded Warehouse Committee. Aside from that, okay, uh, in case na merong removal dan dun sa main entrance ng isang uh, CBW or dun sa established na CBW, kailangan din merong capacity yung bodega okay, na makapag-store ng volume. Okay? Bin-evaluate din ng Banded Warehouse Committee yun. And yung volume na storage, syempre, kailangan yung CBW can cater, okay? A lot of storage area. Dahil nga volume yung e-store, kailangan, syempre may area siya. Diba? As one of the general concept din, particular dun sa mga uh, common banded warehouse or customs common banded warehouse, meron dapat silang sariling examination area and storage facility. And... Aside from that evaluation, okay, uh, isa pang pa, uh, another possibility of evaluation, yung mga raw materials is not limited only to produce export products. Okay? Bakit ano ibig sabihin nun? Siyempre, pinapayagan naman yan ng domestic consumption. Okay? But, gaya nga nasabi ko, uh, limited lang din yung allowable for domestic consumption. At least 30% of the total production lang yon. And, syempre, as part of the requirements, di ba, kung natatandaan nyo, ini-evaluate din yung formula of manufacture. Kasi dun sa formula of manufacture, yun yung detailed, okay, detailed description or detailed uh, process kung paano mo ipoproduce yung isang raw materials into finished product. Okay? And also, for the evaluation, uh, pinag-aaralan din nila yung feasibility study okay? kung viable ba siya for operation of period ng 5 years, kung kaya ba talagang makapag-operate yung isang CBW na establish mo ng 5 years and with also siguro as part of the evaluation na din discuss is yung technical aspect of the business okay? what, uh, what I mean for that kasi kung ang mga documents mo is nag-expired, okay, particular yung uh, certificate of registration, yan, renewable naman po yan, yung certificate of registration. Lalo na kung particular dun sa mga articles of incorporation, yung mga sex certificate, pwede po kasing mag-change yan, pwede po kayong magpalit yan. Kasi, in case na kung ang, ang in-establish yung CBW is, is a form of partnership, then eventually throughout your operations namatay yung isa sa mga uh, partners mo uh, wag naman sana Kaya pag case na ganun uh, nire-revise po yan nag, nag, nag -re renew po kayo prior to expiration kasi uh, mandatory po yun dahil hindi po natin alam patuloy kayo nag operate yung partner pala na isa is patay na so may case na ganun so ang nangyayari nakakalusot sila sa payment ng uh, another uh, taxes Okay, pertaining dun sa operations na meron sila. Okay? So, uh, once ma-evaluate na yan ni Banded Warehouse Committee, okay? Si Banded Warehouse Committee, kailangan niyang gawin yon within, okay? Take note of this, ha? Within 15 days from receipt of endorsement ni district collector. Okay? So, yung evaluation process niya, kailangan daw niya gawin yon within 5 days. Okay? Then, after that, pag na-evaluate niya na lahat or na-validate niya na lahat ng requirements, okay, i-recommend niya naman to kay commissioner. Okay? Sabi niya na kay district director, oh, sasabit niya na yung report ko, yung evaluation ko, then recommended na to for commissioner. Okay? Once ma-approve na yan, okay, Ma may recommendation na si Bandit Warehouse Committee na ah, pwede na po to district collector i-submit kay commissioner. Therefore, si district collector gagawa na to ng recommendation letter na itong i-establish nating CBW okay, is uh, okay, dito, is ready na for approval. Okay? So, once ready na for approval, okay, mag issue na si Customs of uh, Commissioner of Customs ng Certificate of License to Operate. But prior to that, okay, prior to that, meron siyang mga 
So, ko lang gagawin muna si operator. Nandiyan yung magbabayad siya ng annual supervision fee, which is 25% of her housing fees to the district collector. Okay, so, na-identify na naman natin yung mga uh, fees ng warehousing. Okay, uh, nandiyan din yung, uh, tawag dito, submission ng mga requirements like performance bond, designation of uh, accountable officer kasi part ng operation mo is since ikaw ay nag operate or ikaw ang operator ng isang CBW kailangan mo mag-deploy ng accountable officer okay aside from that you can uh, submit also a uh, authorized person okay or authorized person which is particular kung sino yung mag-profile ng entry mo nandiyan si broker or you can use a special power of attorney designating the person authorized to sign yung mga ganong sistema on behalf of the CBW. Okay, and a general bond. Okay, the general bond which indicates all the aspect of operations, the performance, and other uh, activities inside your CBW. Okay, from that, okay, si bago kang ano, bago kang ma-finally approve, okay, si, uh, si Commissioner of Customs, okay, shall act, okay, take note of this, ha, yung, yung proseso na gagawin ni Commissioner of Customs from receipt of the recommendations ni District Collector with proper evaluation ng Bonded Warehouse Committee. From that, uh, si, si, tawag dito, si Commissioner, okay, as endorsed by Chairman, which is the Deputy Commissioner of AOCG, okay, si, ibabalik niya yung evaluation or yung endorsement sa Bonded Warehouse Committee. Then, si Bonded Warehouse Committee will take the endorsement, okay, within 15 days. Ang purpose, bakit niya ibabalik kay Bonded Warehouse Committee? For record purposes naman na, okay? So, yung record purposes na yun, kailangan din may actions, si Bonded Warehouse Committee para at least i-finalize na yung Certificate of License to Operate. Okay? Kasi si Certificate of License to Operate, ang pumipirma niyan ay si mismong Commissioner of Customs. Okay? And also, yung Certificate of License to Operate is meron ding expiration. Okay? And yung expiration naman niya is uh, umaabot ng at least 2 to 3 years, depende sa operation. Kaya nga, ang isa sa mga binabalidate ng Bonded Wares Committee is yung period of operation, kung kaya bang mag-operate ng hanggang 5 years. Okay? Renewable naman yun. Kaya nga sabi kanina, uh, yung, yung makakapag-cater ka ng operations at least 2 to 3 years. Okay? Kasi renewable naman siya within every 2 or 3 years. As, uh, as case may be, depende pa sa proper evaluation ng Banded Warehouse Committee as well as the authorized uh, officials, particular si district collector, and last is syempre si Commissioner of Customs. Okay? So, through that, okay, once makaroon ka na ng, magkaroon ka na ng certificate of license to operate, you can start operating. Okay? Basta makomply mo na lahat ng requirements. Okay, so, yun muna, ayan, para sa ating application or the Customs Bonded Warehouse uh, application procedures. Ayan, so, if you have further questions or meron kayong nalilito or hindi kayo naintindihan sa aming na-discuss today, okay, pwede kayong mag-PM anytime, anywhere. Okay, again, watch first the video then you will know the password dun sa inyong attendance. Okay? So, the password of the attendance will be LCB01. Okay? Thank you and God bless.